Hello folks, welcome to my channel of Island Living. I'm taking a drive um, from the west side all the way up to the mountain. Uh, it's called Up Country. I'm going to head over to, uh, it's called the Hui, which is our um, it's a, a cultural center basically um, where they teach art, different types of arts and they have a little gallery there um, and a little store and so forth. Uh, it's a beautiful view up there. Um, it's open from 9 to 4, uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays right now. I don't know if that's, uh, not only they open more than that, but uh, that's the schedule right now as of October 15th. Today, the first day that the island is supposed to be opening up. So, I'm going to try this drive. I'm headed that way now. I have to go up a really, really steep uh, grade up the mountain to what we call up country. And so the weather could be quite different up country. Um, the elevation's usually about, you know, 2,500, 3,000. And then you go on up into Kula, up into Haleakala, which is our crater. Uh, Kula's at 4,000 feet, but up country, I believe, is about, I think it's about 2,500. So um, anyway, uh, the weather can be different up there. Sometimes it's rain, there's some open areas where there's sunshine. So up country considered is Makawao, uh, Pukalani, Kula, let's see, and then Haiku is your fr farthest out, which sometimes they say that's up country, but it's, it's actually not. Um, so anyway, up country is where I'm headed, up the mountain. Um, definitely it's going to be more green up there, meaning just because people aren't burning it all the time from the fires. Um, so yeah, this grade that I'll be going up here, um, a couple turns here, uh, a couple lights. Pretty steep grade to get up the mountain, and then the drive through Mockwell Town uh, down. Then you head down um, to the Hui, and uh, there's two ways, to, about two ways to get there really. Um, this is the one has a steep grade. There is another area, another way you can go. You take this, the road that I'm driving, and you go through um, Paia Town, and then through Paia Town you go up north. Go uh, up the mountain to Makawa. So, yeah, you're looking at the side of the road. This area, I've spoken before in one of my other videos. It's pretty brown because this has all been burned. Um, I think it was last year, and so there's still a lot of. Any, anytime you see brown, it's just we we have fires. You know, just dumb people lighting fires. So. Jeep decided to cut me off. That's good. I wanted to get in here. Couldn't get... Yeah. Anyway. People usually have pretty good driving habits out here for the most part. The locals that live here. They're usually pretty courteous. Not get right in front of somebody. But we have a lot of people moving here lately. So who knows where they came from. And if it's recent. Um, they might not have the same habits. Here's a sign we're going Makwa 11 miles from here up to the up the mountain then you go Kula then you go to the crater. The crater is you know 10,000 feet 10,462 feet I think it is but I'm not going up there today maybe another day I'll do a video. I haven't been up there in a while it's pretty cold up there though. Again, our speed limit is 45. It will increase just a little bit for 55 for a short period of time, and then it'll go back to 45. So, from the west side to up country is usually about an hour, um, average hour and 15 minutes. Depends on the day, depends on the traffic. Um, as we've been closed all these months. You know, we only have local traffic. Um, as the island begins to fill back up, there is traffic, like, everywhere. Um, not like where you're sitting in traffic, but it, it's just a lot of cars. So it does move. It's just, it takes a little bit longer to get to places when people are here. So, but that's just to be expected, I guess.
so I'm going to try to pick up some speed to get up this mountain. We're at 55 now. They do have cops to sit in this area. I'm using on the down slope. And of course you have to watch your braking on the down slope. But I'm not going to... just want to get a little push. switchbacks and the road is quite um, darn it. The, the road is quite um, I mean the, the path is not very wide it's very uh, you know pretty high up you're going around and around thinking you're up the mountain like oh, am I at the top yet I'm at the top yet because it's it's just keeps going around and around like as if you're you know you've reached the top so the trail is maybe maybe feet wide maybe in some areas four at the most I would, if I remember right so you can do it in, you can hike it in sneakers um, but there's some little rocks and gravel that kind of stuff you definitely don't want to do it in slippers or, or sandals or flip-flops whatever you guys call them uh, so if you ever go up to the crater it, it's cold up there um, you're going you go up through the clouds uh, the clouds are at seven to eight thousand feet and the craters at ten so again, you, to, to the way to do it is if you're going to hike it on your own without anybody taking you up there, and you can, you just, you know, park your car at the top, hitchhike to the bottom to get a ride, and then start from the bottom and work your way to the top. Once you get to the top, your car is there for you when you finish. 
So that's a little input about the crater. You also have to have an appointment to go into the crater um, from three to three to seven is when you have to have the appointment to get into the crater to see the sun rise. I don't get up early, so I've only gone up for sunset through the years. Uh, I'm not getting up early to, to watch the sunrise. I'm sure it's beautiful. Maybe one day I will, but it's uh, rather cold up there. In the winter months, it's 20 to 30. In the summer months, it's 30 to 40. So just think about, about elevation 10,000 feet and what the temperature would be like. So. So anyway, we're almost into uh, where I need to turn into Makawao Town. I was just talking about the crater Haleakala, crater on Maui. Um, you, obviously, we have the crater, I mean, the volcano on uh, the Big Island, uh, Mahu Mahu. Uh, I'm not even saying it right. Mahu Mahu and Kilauea, Kilauea, which is Fisher Number Eight. So um, from the from Haleakala, you can see the crater. You can see the Big Island. Um, on any good day. You can take helicopter rides up to our crater here, but most of the time it's fogged in. So you lose out on your money. They'll take you, it's called a Haleakala crater to um, Hana, but most of the time the crater's fogged in so you can't see anything. Um, they'll take you up there and see, and then you'll head over to Hana. And I think that trip's like, well, most of the trips are like $400. So, Every time I've tried to go, the helicopter company, some of them um, talk me out of it. So, because they say it's always fogged in. So, I always do the West Maui Molokai tour. Um, so, anyway, so that's a little bit about uh, Haleakala in our crater. But heading into Makua Town here, we're going to turn here in this next turn here. It says Historic Makua Town. We have a brown side on the right side of the road. And then you have signs here saying Makawa, Haleakala straight ahead, Pukalani turn right. So this is on Makawa Avenue. And then we're gonna, it's gonna head through residential area and then we'll go through the little town of Makawa. So, um, it's a cute little country town. Um, basically, it comes to a crossroad of Baldwin and Makawal Avenue, and that's where your town of uh, Makawal is. You know, every side of the island has a personality. So, Makawal Town's a country town. Paia Town, we call it the hippie town. And, you know, each side has its own character, has its own uh, personality for um, the island. So, you can kind of see that when you're here. And of course the temperature is a little different on certain sides of the island, especially when you're coming up country here, or if you uh, go out to Hana, if you go to the south side of the island, Kihei side. Um, Kihei side and Lahaina side are probably close in temperature. Lahaina side has more humidity, uh, then Kihei side's a little drier, more like, uh, like California, Arizona. Lahaina side's a little bit more like the south, um, humidity wise. But I believe, I like that side better. I believe uh, the Lahaina side, the west side is kind of poly. Kapalua is it's, uh, just more enjoyable. Uh, I like our beaches better and uh, they say we're more hospi hospital, hospitable over there. Um, that's a matter of opinion. Anyway, everything on the island, everybody's hospitable. They're, we're a tourist industry, industry so. that's uh yeah so we're headed through here a lot of these areas here these houses they this is up country so they have farmland they have cows and, and some have pigs and horses right here is a stable right here on, on this road here some horse a horse or two in the background there on the right in that blue area the blue shed the blue house um some don't some are smaller properties but there's land up here that people buy to live on this is a yeah, this is a huge ranch here. It's a uh, Haiku Baldwin Center. Mockwell Veterinary Clinic there. So yeah, all those horses. I usually stop on the side of the road and pet them in different places. So I'm usually closer to the Hui, there's uh, some horses and I always like to go pet them. So I see them all the rather often. If I come up here, I always try to 
go visit the horses. I've had a horse in the past, and many, many years ago when I was younger, so. So I love coming up here. I feel like when I've con come, when I've come to the upcountry side versus the Highness side, I've, it's like because the characteristics and are so different on each side of the island, I, I always say I feel like I've gone on vacation because you just go for the drive for the day or something and you come back and you're, I feel more refreshed or like, oh, I've gone somewhere farther away from us. It's like about 40, 38, 40 miles from the west side to get to the top here. So not incredibly far, but it's just like because of the personality and the characters of characteristics of each side of the island, it just feels it feels uh, it feels different. So you just feel like oh, gone on gone on vacation or a little trip. Um, so that's what I like to do. I like to come up here. They have a lot of. This is another area that has a lot of art galleries. So Lahaina um, is third in the world for selling art. Ma Maui is third in the world for selling art. It has been for years after New York, after France, New York, and then Maui. Uh, it has lost its touch a little bit. You know, we used to have 150 galleries when I came on the island 17 years ago. Uh, now a lot of stores on Front Street, which is where mainly most of the galleries are, have gone out of business and, and, and t-shirt shops and knickknacks have moved in, souvenirs. But this is a huge art community, and they still um, hold the place. A lot of times, like nowadays, LA beats Maui a little bit in the art community, but they still use that as a pitch um, in the art community because um, we have the Picassos, the Chagalls, uh, Renoirs. Um, I've had a $5 million Renoir, and I worked for a gallery and had that in my hands. I've seen that. Um, but up here in Makawa, there's, there's galleries, uh, several. There's a, uh, there's a you know, the blowing glass, uh, different galleries here. For a small town, there's, you know, probably more gal like more galleries than there is the stores. Like, not more than the stores, but there's just a lot of galleries here. So I like to come up here for that. And then you go through the town here, and then you go down to the Hui. So what you have, uh, the Hui have ceramics. They don't have wood shop anymore, but they have the, you know, digital stuff, printing, printmaking. Um, jewelry making, all the different types of art. There's our Makwa libra library on the left here. So here we are at the corner of Makwa and Baldwin. I'm going to make a left onto Baldwin and the sign says, you know, Haiku straight ahead, Hana straight ahead, Paia left, Olinda to the right. Olinda is another steep hill, it's just another town that has, um, is up country that's, you know, uh, ranch land, just a lot of land, greenery. This restaurant here on the next to me, um, Casanova's is open for dinner and lunch and stuff. And uh, Polly's is our Mexican restaurant here. Here's a little town we're entering into is Mockwell. Mercantiles, general stores, galleries here on the left. Fresh mar Farmer's Market, surf shops. So over in the over this area over here, there's glass blowing. Mockwell Steakhouse recently went out of business, so I don't know what's going on with that. That was actually before everything closed, they went out of business. Saltwater Taffy. So there's several galleries back in that way. And then we're coming out of the town. So that was a town, and there was some a little bit the other way. Um, Going through residential. We got our Mackawal Elementary School. Oh. Got all these speed bumps. So it's a nice drive up here. I like it. Come up on this huge cemetery up here. The Maui Veterans Cemetery. If you want to see that? So 
this is where you'll have like those uh, jacaranda trees and stuff like that when they're blooming in season. Um, a, lot of, a lot of different types of flowers out here. It's a very windy road. It's like we're going down the mountain towards Paia. So you can come out this way or you can come up this way from Paia to Makawa. But we have to go down this hill here partially to the Hui. You have a Montessori school up in this area. There's a lot of land in there. All right, so we're getting into 20. And the lights are flashing. The kids, I think, just went back to school. Okay, so we're almost at the Hui here. It's just right by this little school. This is the monastery school on the right. And then on the right also is the Hui. So I'm gonna go in here. So the Hui Vi Visual Art Center. Historic estate, art studios and classes, gla gallery and shops, sculpture, garden, walking tours, open 10 to nine, ten to 4, um, again, three days a week. I believe the website said 9 to 4, but I could have been wrong, but three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays right now. So you go through this little paved area, this little uh, sidewalk area to, to drive. Anyway, I don't know if they'll let me film inside, so I'll film the area around it after I visit. I like coming up here because they do a different uh, display each each month, normally, and then you uh, you know see different different artists and stuff, different uh, theme, I guess is the word. So it looks like there's a few cars here. I don't know if they all work here or if they're actually visiting since the island just opened up, but we've been able to move about a little bit. So you park in this gravel area, it's free to go inside, it's free. See all the greenery. So the building's over there. So anyway, I'm going to go inside and I will make a second video here of a little bit of the area when I come out. Again, I don't know if they'll let me videotape in there. So Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm uh, coming up to mock, coming up to the Hui um, from the cent. I came from the central part of the island, which is right near the airport. Is when I started filming this. So, I will continue another little video if I can. And thank you for watching. And, and please subscribe and enjoy my channel. And uh, hit the like button. Aloha.